Welcome to 18th of December's Godly Blessing. Supreme Godfather wants us to be full of all the treasures, whether it's knowledge, whether it's virtues, or whether it's power. And he wants us to have all this wealth and feel rich, as compared to people who feel rich by the worldly benefits. So let's see, let's go ahead and let's understand what exactly is this richness and what exactly is this wealth. Father says, May you be wealthy and experience being full of the treasures of knowledge, virtues and powers. The children who have the treasures of knowledge, knowledge about the self, the real true knowledge, pure knowledge, and the knowledge about the complete drama, and the knowledge about the Supreme Creator and His ways of working this drama out, the virtues which are required to play or enact in this drama, and that is also known as the character of the actor that you and me are, and the powers which we need to use in this drama in order to enact and behave in the right manner in the eyes of the director, that is God, remain constantly full, that is, they remain content. There is no name or trace of any lack of attainment for them. They don't feel that you know something is missing, even though physical things might be missing in their life. They are ignorant of limited desires. They are bestowers. Instead of asking for things and wanting and desiring things from others, they are actually bestowers, not of physical things only, but bestowers of happiness and peace and contentment and joy in other people's life, without materialism, by the way. Spiritual contentment. They do not have any worries of limited desires or attainments. They are not worried about whether, whether I'll get it, whether I'll move ahead, whether I'll want something and that desire is going to come true or not. They never ask for anything. That means neither God and nor the world. They don't, never beg or ask for anything. Whether it's even respect, whether it's even wealth, whether it's, whether it's name and fame. They don't desire it and they don't ask for it. Such children who are constantly full and content are said to be wealthy. Imagine the definition of wealth has completely changed. So contentment, joy, peace, what you can share with others, that exactly is what God is talking about. That is the true wealth which you can share with others. In today's world, we are comparing ourselves on the basis of whether I can give enough or not to other people, whether my gift which I am going to give to the other person, or whether the facilities I am going to give to other person are going to be enough or not. So we feel judged or we feel compared on the basis of those things which we give to other people. And that has to go away, God says. The real wealth is the amount of spiritual guidance, the amount of spiritual health, the amount of amount of name and fame which you can give to others on the basis of their qualities, their divinity within. Outside praise is easy. You're looking good. You're looking beautiful today. Oh, nice dress. This is very easy. But there's something which is an inner beauty. If you can see the inner beauty and you can make people see their inner beauty that is the highest form of happiness and beauty which you can give to others and that is the largest complete i would say the largest pandora of wealth which you can open up for other people how do you do that is what we learn in brahma kumaris you too can come in and learn this it's a beautiful experience at brahma kumaris with this om shanti